Hello Simmers, this is your captain speaking. <clears throat> and this is the second of uh, what I think will be about four videos uh, on uh, pilot to ATC. In the first video, we just gave an introduction to the application and went through and looked at the interface. And what we're going to do in this video is to create a flight plan. Uh, basically, uh, the flight plan that's very similar to the flight plan that's in the getting started uh, document for IFR. And uh, so we're going to create an IFR flight plan from San Diego to Los Angeles. Uh, this is just a short flight and uh, in later videos we will load that up into Microsoft Flight Simulator and uh, take a flight from San Diego to Los Angeles, follow the, the route that we've created within uh, Pilot ATC, using Pilot ATC to simulate uh, the uh, ATC conversation between, uh, between ATC and the pilot. So let's go ahead and and uh, get started on the, our route. Uh, we have Pilot ATC up on the desktop and basically what we want to do here from here is we'll start with a new uh, flight plan uh, indicated here by the blank uh, screen on the left and we would start adding uh, our endpoints. Uh, the first would be the, uh, uh, the the departure airport at uh, Kilo Sierra Alpha November. We click enter, and that adds that uh, as the first waypoint in our plan. <clears throat> if we click on this now. Uh, we can click over here on info and that will show us inf information about the San Diego uh, airport. We mentioned this uh, in the last video, but this will show us the elevation of the airport, the magnetic variation, uh, the arrival runway, and the departure runway. So now we have uh, San Diego loaded. Let's click add waypoint again and for this we will type in Kilo uh, Lima Alpha X-ray click enter pressing again pressing enter on the keyboard will uh, do just as well and now we have the Los Angeles Airport the destination for our flight and we click on this and that brings the information up here. Uh, Los Angeles International is elevation of 128 feet and a magnetic variance of 12 degrees. Uh, the arrival runways are uh, RW24R, RW24L, RW25L, and RW25R. That's based upon uh, the the uh, current uh, weather at the airport. Speaking of which, we can click the weather uh, button here and that will show us the weather for whatever airport we have selected in the uh, uh, in the flight plan. So the weather at uh, KLAX is clear, no precipitation, temperature is 22 degrees Celsius, with a dew point of negative of minus three. The visibility is 10 miles. The winds are from uh, 258 at nine knots that are uh, out of the west. And uh, the altimeter is 30.19. So there we have information about the weather. Now what do we do? Uh, we see the we can see the route, just a simple route from uh, San Diego to uh, KLAX, 
and uh, but we want to have a little bit more than that. Uh, let's go into our config options for a moment and see how we have this set up. We'll click on the speech, make sure that uh, it responds to radio and changes frequency. We want to make sure that that is uh, correct. Click on flight plan and let's go ahead and select ATC assigned SIDs, ATC assigned STARS, and ATC assigns approaches. And uh, then we'll close that by clicking on config again. And uh, the easiest way to create a flight plan is to set up the uh, endpoints and then click auto plan. And we wait a few uh, moments while the plan is constructed. In just a moment, it will come up. We'll see it in the map and in the flight plan window. Now over here in the map, you can see a flight plan has been uh, created for us uh, with a SID, a star, and uh, an approach. And so let's take a look and see what uh, the flight plan includes. Uh, the flight plan consists of a flight from uh, from San Diego on the SID called Sea Ward 2, which starts here at San Diego or Winfield actually, or perhaps uh, actually here it starts at uh, this uh, waypoint called Heading 275. Uh, which is right here close to the airport and then goes from goes to Winfield, Gwynn, Padre, Seaward, Maddo, and then the transition point is SLI or this is a uh, reference to uh, Seal Beach at uh, Los Alamitos and, and you can see each one of these waypoints here, Seaward, uh, Maddo and uh, here at Seal Beach is the transition point. The next one after the transition point is the top of descent which is calculated based upon the information that is included up here for the flight. A climb rate of 2100 feet per minute, cruise altitude of 12,000 feet, the uh, planned uh, ground speed 180 knots. The uh, planned distance is 162.2 nautical miles. The descent rate 800 feet per minute and the uh, uh, miles to the top of descent is 56.5. Oh, no, from the top of the descent to the destination, you're 56.5. And so that is the plan that they have. You'll notice it has included uh, here, we can see a star. The name of the star is based one, and it uses the based transition. And so this is the best star that... Uh, uh, pilot ATC could come up with. It includes uh, this direct to link to base, then a turn back toward Los Angeles and goes to uh, Juice and Cliffy and Dwyer and A and ends up here at uh, Peter and then uh, it has a uh, direct link from Peter to Shell, and I believe this is Shell right there. And then uh, Fogla is the um, uh, final approach fix. And so this is the approach fix for ILS 20, 
ILS uh, runway 25 right. And uh, so you see it's kind of convoluted. And so I really don't want to that, that uh, uh, star in, the, in here. So let's see if we can do something about that. Come down here to the star button at the bottom of the flight plan. Click on that. And that will load up a new dialog box for us. These are all the stars that are available at uh, Los Angeles. And uh, we can maximize that so we can see this uh, at a higher resolution. And our plan is going to bring us uh, from San Diego to uh, Seal Beach, which is somewhere right around in, in here. And we want to end up uh, on the, the uh, ILS, uh, uh, ILS 25 right, which uh, has a transition somewhere around here, not very far from here to here. And obviously there are no stars uh, that are suitable to get us from this point to this point. So what we want to do is just use a direct, uh, a direct to uh, here instead of using a star. So we will unload the star that is currently uh, loaded up in the flight plan. And now you can see that that has been removed, and we have a much simpler uh, plan flying into San Diego. Now, one thing now that we want to be careful of is that ATC. Uh, we don't want ATC to uh, give us a star uh, when we fly into LA, we want to use this route. We want to force ATC, ATC to accept this route that we have in our plan. And, we, and to do that, we have to go back into config. And uh, on the flight plan uh, tab, we unclick ATC assigns stars. And for good measure, we'll unclick ATC assigns SIDs and ATC assigns approaches. Now the stars, the, the star that we have, well, we don't have a star in there, so uh, it doesn't matter. Uh, for star assignment, uh, we haven't given it a star, so there will be no star. We'll unselect that. For us, uh, pilot runway selection to keep that uh, selected so that our chosen runway will be used. And having done that, we are just almost ready uh, to load this up into, uh, well, we're almost ready to get in the air, airplane and start configuring it for this flight. Let's con click Config again to close this uh, window. And now that we have the plan there, we want to save it. And we'll click Save. And uh, the plan is automatically named based upon the uh, departure and arrival airports. We'll click there. There's already another there, but we'll go ahead and overwrite that. And that will overwrite uh, the plan. And if we have to, we can get back to this simply by uh, using the load button here to load it up into our flight plan area. Uh, one more thing that we can do is we can export the flight plan. If we click export. We have uh, a number of options here of different ways that it can be exported. We are interested in saving it to a PLN file for Microsoft Flight Simulator 2020. And so I have that selected. The uh, the name will be uh, KSAN-KLAX 
dot PLN. And uh, we'll go ahead and keep the export SID star approaches. I believe what this does is it actually uh, sets the plan up where it references the SID and the star that are included in the plan uh, rather than simply putting in the waypoints for the SID and the stars. If you deselect this, you still get the plan, but it's just a series of waypoints, and it's not actually uh, in, uh, programmed into the GPS. As far as I understand, it's not programmed into the GPS as a SID or as a star. It's just programmed as a series of waypoints. So we'll go ahead and export the SID star approach, override existing files, and click export. And that's all there is to that. And so that basically is how we uh, create a flight plan and uh, manipulate it within uh, uh, this uh, program pilot to ATC. In our next video, we will jump in the cockpit of uh, a Kodiak 100 and uh, program it into the GPS uh, and get a plan into the GPS that looks like the plan that we have created here uh, in Pilot to ATC. So I hope that you'll join me for the next video, which should be available very soon.